Their journey didn't end the way they expected. En quelques minutes, il y a plein de gens qui sont qui sont partis à l'eau, qui se sont noyés euh, sous nos yeux. Before being herded on an inflatable boat, they were already scarred for life. Libya is not a place for any anybody. It's not a place for any human being to live. Most of those who have survived have either lost their loved ones or been separated from them. Tragico. Tragico. In tutti i sensi. Qu'est-ce qu'il faut faire pour que ça cesse? As the European Union closes its ports, Africa is losing its children. Il y a souvent des flashs. Et ça vient, ça part à peine deux minutes. Et on dit que... Warren almost lost his life a few months ago when his mother tried to take him and his brother to Europe. Rashida was traveling with them. The Zodiac didn't say that it was broken. The water didn't say that it was broken, broken, broken. When someone is fatigued, he lets him and he goes. After the child of my sister, he fell down the water. My sister couldn't bear the pain. I said, wait, when I cry, wait. Elle dit non, elle saute aussi à suivre l'enfant. Elle a réussi à sauver l'enfant, je tiens l'enfant, je ramène. Elle maintenant, je tends la main, elle part dans l'eau. Oui, c'est comme ça qu'elle est entrée dans la mer. Je suis restée, j'ai crié, je pleurais. J'ai crié, elle n'était pas là. Après, elle est ressortie, je tenais la main. J'avais sa main entre mes mains, après la croix rouge est arrivée. En fait, on a fait le tour du bateau et de l'autre côté, c'était une catastrophe. Quoi. Ils étaient tous dans l'eau déjà, on n'était pas prêts à ça. Et en quelques minutes, il y a plein de gens qui sont, qui sont partis à l'eau, qui se sont noyés euh, sous nos yeux. They were rescued in international waters, 30 km away from the Libyan coast. On a commencé à récupérer un bébé qui flottait euh, genre 40 cm sous l'eau. Enfin, J'ai dû mettre mon bras euh, jusque là dans l'eau pour l'attraper. But for some of the people traveling with them, it was too late. That's all right. Keep going. When they reached the Aquarius, Warren and his mum were in a coma. They were evacuated by helicopter to the nearest hospital in Tunisia. We didn't know where the helicopter was going. At, at that time, our main priority was the urgent medical needs of the patients on the deck. It was, it was complete chaos. Um, a very high number of the people who had come from the rubber boat were intoxicated from inhaling fumes of fuel which had spilled out of containers on the rubber boat. In the confusion, Warren's four-year-old brother, Ange, stayed behind. I didn't know we were going to Rome, Tunis. We were separated two because he told me we were going to Rome at the same time as them. Their mother died a few hours later leaving her two sons separated by the Mediterranean Sea. Zarzis, a Tunisian coastal city close to the Libyan border. It's been at the heart of the Mediterranean migrant tragedy for years. Veronique is buried at the local cemetery after sacrificing her life to save her son. You see the destiny. Elle est du Cameroun, elle a traversé le Sahara de Libye. Elle est traitée mal avec sa sœur et ses enfants. Elle part dans des bateaux de mort, gonflables. Elle se coule à côté de Zarzis. Elle rentre à Sfax parce qu'il n'y a pas des hôpitaux ici. Elle meurt à Sfax après 8 heures de coma. Et maintenant, elle est là. Shamsuddin knows the migrant tragedy better than anyone else here. This former fisherman buries them in this piece of land, but he's running out of space. Où on va mettre les morts qui viennent dans les prochaines semaines? Peut-être on peut creuser un ou deux tombes 
ici, on va fermer la cimetière. Nous avons dit que nous avons fait un peu de travail de 15 km de la Tafa. Nous avons fait 15 km de la Tafa, nous avons fait 3-4 km de la Tafa. Nous avons fait 500 km de la Tafa, nous avons fait 1 ou 2 km de la Tafa. It's the current that brings the migrants' bodies to Zarzis. It also washes ashore the wooden boats abandoned at sea after being rescued. Ça, ce sont des vêtements des immigrants qui les ont trouvés dans le bateau. Il y a des autres là-bas aussi dans le bateau qui est coincé. Ça fait deux années qu'il est arrivé ici. C'est peut-être les derniers bateaux, ils sont neufs, déjà tout neufs. Ils sont construits spécialement avec des hauts en, de l'autre côté pour l'immigration, pour, pour sécuriser, on dit, les, les migrants. Today, wooden boats have been replaced by rubber dinghies that make the journey even more dangerous. Il n'y a pas de réservoir dans les canons. Il faut amener des bidons de 20 litres. On donne ces bidons entre les jambes de, 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 des immigrants. Comme ça, il tient le bidon accroupi comme ça. Et après, le, avec les vagues, l'essence, le, 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 il se jette avec le sel. On a déjà sauvé des, des gens, des immigrants dans des bateaux de canon qui sont brûlés, tout, avec l'essence et vraiment des brûlures de troisième degré. In the first half of 2018, out of 26,000 people who have attempted the journey, almost 1,000 have died. 9,000 were brought back to Libya by coast guards. And around 16,000 made it to Europe, mainly Italy. Five times less than in the same period last year. But as the numbers are getting lower, the EU's policy is getting tougher. And for migrants, the chance to make it safely evaporates by the day. The fishermen of Zarziz, the unknown heroes on the front line of the Mediterranean tragedy. Almost everyone here has saved distressed migrants whose journey went wrong. يعني أقل جيس حتى بشوي ما يسبوا يتبرم تولي ما غير ما تشعر ما غير ما ما تخمم فيش فيش تجي ما غير ما عمل الإنسان يأكل الله في سبيل الله بيش تقوم به وإن شاء الله ربي كفون على فعلنا. A challenge for these men with not much support from the outside. كل المراكب تعدت بتكوين وكل المراكب خاصة في الوضعية ما إيش سليمة ياسر. وضعية نعرف الفيروس اللي موجود في أفريقيا يلزم ينتقل العدوى متاعها من المهاجرين إلى معناه بعض الصيادين وضعية البركاجات وضعية مهاجرين يخرجوا من ليبيا مسلحين يعني الوضع الوضع خطير جدا ولكن تحملنا مسؤوليتنا إحنا. But they can't provide the help that they used to. هو الفاتورة اللي دفعناها والثمن اللي دفعناها معناه مقابل العمل التطوعي وإنقاذ النفس البشرية خلصنا في تورة متاع أموات ومتاع شهداء متاع قطاع صيد بحري من الميليشيات الليبية اللي معناها ما تحب ناش ننقذ الناس تحب الناس تموت So the main hope for people dumped into the sea is international rescue boats Don't move, okay, calm down The Aquarius, one of the only vessels patrolling international waters to try and save desperate people. Il y a des gens en mer qui sont sur des bateaux qui ne sont pas capables de naviguer, qui ne sont pas des bateaux sûrs. Donc ces gens, systématiquement, après 24 heures en moyenne, leur vie est en grand danger. In June, Italy turned the Aquarius away with more than 600 rescued people on board before closing its ports to all humanitarian boats. 
accusing them of fueling the migrant crisis. Volunteers like Edouard rescued thousands of inflatable boats, overloaded with people who can't swim and are not even given a life jacket. People risking it all, including their children's lives. Douala, Cameroon's economic capital. An African megacity, one of the most prosperous in Central Africa. But high unemployment, poverty and crime can make life difficult here. So many dream of a better life. Like Veronique, who left Douala with her two children last August without telling their father. Elle m'a contacté au mois de novembre pour me rassurer que les enfants se portaient bien et qu'elle était à trois heures de l'Italie. Je lui ai dit de renoncer à cette folie et que les enfants avaient déjà trop souffert comme ça. But she didn't listen to him. Elle avait déjà dépensé d'énormes sous. Elle s'est fait arnaquer, je pense, 2 millions de francs CFA par un passeur. Et c'est le pourquoi elle a mis du temps en, en Libye. Donc, euh, et hormis les 2 millions de francs CFA, il y a eu beaucoup d'argent qui est sorti dans ce voyage. Et que revenir, recommencer, pour elle, ce n'était pas possible. Donc, euh, il fallait donner tout pour traverser la Méditerranée. And when she contacted him a month later, she was detained in Libya. Elle a eu des menaces. Mais il fallait des sous. Et parce qu'elle avait des menaces sur des enfants. Du coup, oh, on avait versé de l'eau chaude sur le pied de Wallen. Il fallait qu'elle demande de l'argent euh, aux proches au Cameroun. All migrants have a different story, but they all share the same fear Libya a country largely controlled by armed militias since the fall of Muammar Gaddafi. Some went there to work, others because it's the main departure point to reach Europe by sea. But almost all end up enslaved, tortured, and extorted. Mariama left Sierra Leone to join her husband who was working in the capital, Tripoli. One day I came out to buy some food stuff. I was kidnapped by three men. They pointed a gun at me, told me to go inside the car. If not, they will shoot me. So I, I, I accept, I went inside the car and they drove off. I don't know, they tied my eyes. I don't know where they take me, but it was a long journey. At the end of the day, they, they untied me. And the next thing I can remember is they start to rape me. I was not alone in the room. There are other girls that they, they were raping also. And there was one, there was one other one. She was not talking. I think she was dead. Her husband had to pay a ransom to get her out. كان ما عندكش يعني يا قتلوك روح الإنسان بالنسبة لهم كمثل روح النمل ويقتلوك يا فوت ما يدور الشيء. محمد علي survived for four years in Libya, during which he was kidnapped and enslaved many times. رفعوك إلى سجن تبع ملشيات كان عندهم هدمة أو واحد عندهم عنده هدمة يعني مثلاً يبني بيت أو كذا ويجوا هنيك ذاك الهبس ويرفع مثلاً خمسه شباب او اربعه ويمشي يقدموهم يعني ببلاش وتكدم هم واقفين جنبكم وبسلاحاتهم وتكدم وبعدين يرجعوكم كل يوم يقدر لكم هيك كل يوم يقول لكم تعال اكدم تو نكرجوك تعال اكدم انا تو نكرجوك تمشي تكدم ويرجعوك تمشي تكدم ويرجعوك ما تقدرش تهرب لان هم واقفين جنبك وبالسلاح 
These four years came at a very high price, not only for him, but also for his family back in Niger. A family he wanted to help, but ended up putting in more trouble. My mother told me that I was in it. She was like, والله قال لي أنا لا أملك شيء أنت هو وكيف نساعدك كيف نكرجوك من هؤلاء إلى المقاتلين بيع بيتنا اللي كنا ساكن فيه وبعت لي فلوس بعت لي فلوس لهذيك هؤلاء الملشيات وبعد كرجوني. He tried to cross to Italy but failed and was rescued by the Tunisian coast guards. Today, he works in a construction site in Zarziz. For Muhammad Ali, the journey stops here. But for Amadou and his friends, it's time to go home. Ils nous donnent des calages et chaque fois on voit des tirs comme ça, non, on ne peut pas tirer. Et on voit aussi des arabes qui les tirent ici, d'autres sur les pieds. Et nous on reste dans la voiture. Nous on ne sait pas tirer. Maintenant, dès qu'il a su que nous on ne sait pas tirer, maintenant chaque matin il nous réveille à 6 heures. Il place quelques trucs devant et nous donne des calages maintenant de tirer. Mais on a suivi que lui il veut. Lui, il veut nous former pour qu'on devienne aussi des tiers comme lui. Là, on a décidé de fuir. They tried to get on a boat to Italy, but didn't succeed. So they found another way to escape, walking through the desert to the Tunisian border. Maintenant, je vais rentrer chez moi et rester là-bas. Leaving Libya became more important than his European dream. A dream that Warren's father does not share or even understand. What do I have to do to stop this? I have failed to lose my two children. If I had lost my two children, I don't know. Maybe I would have become crazy. I would have had to have a life. Two children are gone like this. The girls are four and seven years old. I don't understand why. Despite everything we see in the media, people continue to get involved in this crazy. As soon as he heard that his ex-wife's journey ended badly, Jean-Pierre started to look for his children. Sending pictures, filing reports, compiling all necessary documents proving that he was their father. Weeks later, his efforts paid off. He found Warren in this refugee center near Zarzis in Tunisia. But his youngest son, Ange, was not there. A four-year-old child who reached the port of Augusta in Sicily on his own with hundreds of other survivors and was handed over to the Italian authorities. We head to the organization in charge of unaccompanied minors to try and find him. We show them the pictures and documents his father gave us. Ange, sì, è lui, Ange, è una bellissima famiglia, sì, guarda, vengo da... è una... una famiglia augustana, abbiamo visto i vidi del soccorso, io personalmente li ho, li ho assegnato alla famiglia, c'era un gruppo di connazionali che non lo volevano lasciare al momento dello sbarco, lo tenevano, lo tenevano, abbiamo dovuto veramente fare un'operazione di mediazione dicendo che noi lo accogliamo ma appena troviamo la famiglia, c'è il papà. But three months on, Jean-Pierre hasn't heard anything. More than 10,000 minors have arrived here in the last three years. Dealing with them has been a tremendous task with not enough resources. È stato un impatto forte, e ripeto, anche perché i servizi sociali probabilmente appunto era una cosa un po' troppo grossa per Augusta, per i servizi sociali di Augusta, perché era un fenomeno del tutto 
e cioè mondiale che dovevamo affrontare quando noi, io mi trovavo, poi era eh, diciamo in concomitanza con l'incarico di responsabile mh, appena nominata, quando io chiedevo informazione al Ministero o alla Regione Siciliana su come comportarci da un punto di vista anche amministrativo, non avevamo mai delle risposte, ma intanto i ragazzi erano lì e entro due o tre ore dovevamo trovare delle strutture, quindi nessuno ti diceva dove, come, e cosa fare? And then comes the challenge to reconstruct these children's history. In Ange's case, a complex one that we help to clarify. The social services decide to call the foster father. Sì, ho visto le foto, ho visto le foto. Si tratta di Ange. E loro mi riferiscono che hanno avuto contatti col papà. Potrebbe venire qui per incontrarli? An no. The foster father refuses to come and see the evidence we collected. A month later, Ange's brother and father finally get to see him on Skype. Però ecco, essendo che parlo italiano, penso che sia possiamo rimanere comunque in but despite all the evidence Jean-Pierre provided, the reunification process is still at a standstill. Warren and Ange were not the only ones separated during their boat rescue operation. All the women and children who ended up in this Tunisian center that day have either lost their loved ones or are trying to be reunited with them. After failing to reach Europe, Rashida is doing everything she can to join her boyfriend who made it there. But she's losing faith. I'm 22 years old. I'm 22 years old. But what I've experienced is more than me. More than me. I'm more than me. I'm more than me. Why? Why did you not leave me in the same place? Mariama hasn't heard from her husband, who most probably disappeared at sea. During the rescue operation, she volunteered to accompany this child, as his mother was nowhere to be found. Everybody thought she was dead, but she made it to the other side. I want to be with Aladji. Aladji is the most important thing. We found Haja in a remote village in southern Italy, one and a half hour drive away from the first city. Far away from her son with no idea when she'll be able to see him again. She tries to speak to him as often as she can. Hello? Yeah. Bob. Hello? Hello? but the connection often fails. She says no one is addressing the issue. When I came to the camp, I told those people, I do not know how long they have been trying, but up to now, I do not see no movement. She's seeking asylum, but the chances are not good. Buongiorno, ragazze. Questa è la prima lezione in italiano. Meanwhile, She's trying to start a new life. Come state? Bene. Uh, come mi chiamate? Tu come ti chiami? Aja. Even though, without her son, she can't really see a future for herself. <laughs> Warren is back where his journey began. He's still waiting for the return of his brother. À chaque fois qu'il demande papa, ah je viens quand je lui dis bientôt. Mais il y a des fois il me dit ah papa tu me dis toujours bientôt 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 c'est quand. Ange, a kid lost in a torrent of paperwork, somewhere in the Sicilian city of Agusta, where authorities seem in no hurry to see him reunited with his family. Je perds et je ne vais pas lâcher. Je vais tout donner. It's a promise that he made to his children's mother when he visited her grave. 
mis à genoux et là j'ai commencé à parler à la défunte, à lui dire comme quoi je suis là, j'ai récupéré Warren, je ferai tout pour récupérer aussi Anja en Italie. Là où tu es, je veux que tu reposes en paix. Mais je voudrais aussi que tu m'aides. Les enfants seront grands. On reviendra. A promise that he will fight to fulfill so that she can finally rest in peace.